Go on. <laughs> so this is a summer 2011 question seven. The gradient of a curve at the point x, y is um, where x is, oh this is interesting, x is greater than minus 2. Why are they telling us that? Let's see. It's given by, divided by the x is 1 over 3y squared x plus 2. The points there lie on the curve, find the value of q. Alright, so it seems fairly straightforward. Um, this is a differential equation, isn't it? It's dy by the x equals. In order to solve this, the, the little phrase that you tell yourself what you have to do, we need to separate the variables and integrate them. So we need to get everything involving y up there with dy. We need to leave everything involving x on the other side. So to start with, let's multiply through by 3y squared. We need that up here. At this stage, we're ready to integrate. Now, you know, at, at this point, with core four a couple of weeks away, I, I don't mind how you understand what we're doing with this, but in effect, what we're actually doing is we're integrating both sides with respect to x, because you have to do the same thing to both sides of the equation. It just so happens that the dx's cancel out here to leave us with the integral of 3y squared dy is the integral of 1 over x plus 2 dx. But it is worth knowing that actually what we've done is the same thing to both sides, because we must always do the same thing to both sides. Right, this should be a straightforward integral. If we integrate 3y squared, we get y cubed. Y cubed, yeah. That's nice, isn't it? If we integrate 1 over x plus 2, we get what is it? Ln x plus 2. Ln x plus 2. Normally, I would insist on putting my modulus signs in there because the, it has to be positive, doesn't it? If it's a natural log or something. But the question said that x is bigger than minus 2, so this is always going to be positive. So we're all right. Right, there's our general solution of the differential equation. We are told that it passes through the point 1, 2. So at the point 1, 2, we've got that 8 is the natural log of 1 plus 2 plus c. It's amazing how often the constant drops out to be something really neat. It, you know, it's either zero or it's something really nice. This one isn't. It's eight minus the natural log of three. That's it. That's what we've got. There we go. Um, so our equation becomes y cubed is the natural log of x plus two plus eight minus the natural log of three. Not the world's prettiest equation. Um, we're also told that it passes through the point Q 1.5. Okay. So we've got um, y is 1.5 when x is Q. We need to find what Q is. If you Q 1.5, well, I mean, they're, they're obviously they're looking for, it, it even says, give me your answer, greater than three significant yeah, figures. Yeah. So this is just a number crunching exercise now. Um, 1.5 into there would be, what, 27 over 8, although you can probably write it as a decimal. Um, ln q plus 2 plus 8 minus ln 3. We just need to collect things together until we can work out what this is in terms of uh, until we can get an answer for Q. Oh, that's horrible, isn't it? Um, I, I'm not even sure I want to work it out more. Uh, what have we got then? Eight. What's what? Oh, yeah. Eight over three. Oh, yeah. Was that Dan again spotting that? Yeah. Take a. Um, what's that? 27 over 8 minus 8 
is uh, minus 37 over 8. Plus Ln3. Eventually we want to know what Q is. So this is Q plus 2 is E to the minus 37 over 8 plus Ln3. So Q is whatever that is. Take away 2. I'm working it out. Ln3. Uh, and I'm getting minus 1.97. Yeah, I got that. Is that what you got? Yeah. Okay, so the three schools configured, that's what we're going to go with. There we go. It's well worth checking what question you say, whether it's saying an exact answer or three schools configured, because that's to give that exact answer, not, not a nice thing. With, um, you know, I think we could use that to put it down. We've got to LA um, this, next to the app, the corners, the 27 over 8. Yeah. Could you like merge the LNs together to get like LN equals 2 over 3? Yes. Alright, that's how I'll go. Thanks for the reading.